It was a normal Monday for radical Muslim cleric Hassan Mustafa Osama Nasser, better known as Abu Omar. He was walking to midday prayers at his local mosque when he noticed a white van. When he passed the gardens at Via Guerzoni, an Italian identifying himself as a police officer approached, asking to see his identification papers. Omar's recollection was of being grabbed by two men, now known to be CIA operatives. They threw him into the back of their van, placed a bag over his head and beat him as the vehicle sped off. As Abu Omar lay semi-conscious on the van floor, feet and hands shackled with tape and covered with a blanket, he wasn't to know he'd not see Italy again for years. This is the CIA's surveillance image of Abu Omar. According to Italian prosecutors, he was kidnapped by the CIA in a practice known as extraordinary rendition where suspected terrorists are abducted and flown to a country where torture is commonplace to extract information. In Omar's case, it was Egypt. Abbiamo violato convenzioni internazionali, abbiamo violato la legge italiana, abbiamo violato i diritti umani di questo imputato, abbiamo pesantemente violato la sovranità di questo paese. It's also a mistake to say that uh, we have a war against terrorism, but uh, uh, we refuse to apply the Geneva Convention. This was Abu Omar's home in Milan. It's less than a kilometre from the local mosque. The details of what happened on that day on his way to the mosque have only emerged because of two things. This extraordinary document written by Omar from a prison cell in Cairo and the tireless efforts of one of Italy's top terrorism crime fighters. His name is Armando Spataro. He's one of Italy's most senior prosecutors who made his name successfully combating political corruption and the country's infamous homegrown terrorists, the Red Brigades. At the time of the kidnapping by the CIA, Spataro and a team of investigators were monitoring Abu Omar's movements and about to lay terrorism charges against him. They had no idea the CIA was about to snatch him from under their noses. Just after his kidnapping, we closed the investigation because, of course, the kidnapping was a serious damage uh, for our investigation. From here, Omar was driven to the US military air base at Aviano in northern Italy and flown to Egypt via Germany. He'd spent more than a year in a Cairo prison before investigators in Italy established his whereabouts. And that was only by tapping his wife's phone in Milan. Abdel Hamid Shari, president of the Milan Islamic Institute, explains. Omar si è fatto sentire dall'Egitto e ha raccontato per telefono che è stato rapito di qua, poi è stato portato a una base americana, poi è stato portato con l'aereo in Egitto, in Egitto è stato consegnato alle autorità egiziane, è stato torturato, maltrattato e tutto il resto. Adesso Shiva eh, l'hanno rilasciato, dopo quella, dopo quella telefonata l'hanno ripreso di nuovo e l'hanno messo in galera. 